Hey there. If you're a fan of Excel drop-down lists, you're going to love this one. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create color-coded drop-downs that automatically change the cell's color based on the value you select. This is one of my all-time favorite Excel tricks, and I can't wait to show you how easy it is. Let's dive right in. Let's say we have a project tracker to manage multiple projects, and we want to add a drop-down in the status column that highlights the row red if a project is not started, turns yellow if it's in progress, and changes to green when it's complete. We can do this quickly using conditional formatting. Let's start by adding the drop-down list. First, select the cells where you want the drop-downs. Go to the Data tab. Click on Data Validation. Under Validation Criteria, choose List. In the Source box, type the status options separated by commas. Not started, in progress, complete. Click OK, and your drop-down is ready. Try clicking on a cell. You'll see the new status options appear. Pretty cool, right? But we're just getting started. Now that we have the drop-downs, let's make them colourful by adding conditional formatting rules. These rules will automatically highlight the row based on the selected status. Let's begin with the first rule, creating the not started rule, red color. Select the entire project tracker table, including the status column. Head to the home tab and click on conditional formatting. Choose new rule. Select use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the formula box, type equals dollar sign E2 equals, open quotes, not started, close quotes. Here's what's happening. E2 refers to the first cell in the status column. The dollar sign locks the column, so the rule works for all rows. Click Format, choose a red fill color, and hit OK. Now try selecting not started from the drop-down. The entire row should turn red. Let's repeat the process for the other two status options. Select the same data again. Go to Conditional Formatting, Greater Than New Rule. Choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Type the formula. Equals, dollar sign E2, equals, open quotes, in progress, close quotes. Click Format, pick a yellow fill colour and press OK. Give it a try. Select In Progress and boom. The row turns yellow. Now latestly, let's create the complete rule, green colour. Select the data table one more time. Go to Conditional Formatting. Greater than New Rule. Select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Enter the formula. Equals dollar sign E2 equals open quotes. Complete close quotes. Click Format. Select a nice green fill colour and hit OK. Now. If you choose complete, the row turns green, just like that. Let's test everything to make sure it's working perfectly. Select different statuses from the drop-downs and watch the rows update instantly with the correct colors. How cool is that? A, have a few bonus tips also. Need to update the color. Simply go to conditional formatting greater than manage rules and tweak the colors anytime. Want to apply this trick to new projects? Just copy and paste the formatted cells. Excel will carry over the drop-downs and rules automatically. And there you have it. You just learned how to create a color-coded drop-down list in Excel that makes project tracking easier and more visually appealing. Do you love color-coded drop-downs as much as I do? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new Excel tip. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.